Hey Home Builder, John here, your friendly remote CPA, and I just wanted to make a really quick video about how to reconnect bank feeds, which is the most common issue that we have with bank feeds, and it's totally separate from setting up a new bank feed. So I'm in here in the sample company, and you know QuickBooks, they've already always changing menus over here on the left. So it will be something called bank feed or transactions or bank transactions. So that's where I went over here to transactions and then bank transactions. And this is the sample file. Obviously there's no live client data here. I would never use that on a video, but we have these different tabs up here and you'll wanna make sure that you're in the bank transactions here. And usually this happened because you got a big red error in this middle screen part that said, you know, some kind of urgent issue, bank feed disconnected. And you can click the button that says update now, but a sure way to ensure that you are working with the right account is if you go into the square where the bank feed has been disconnected or in some QuickBooks files, we have a drop down here and you don't even see the square, but then you just go to the pencil icon and you say edit sign in info. And the reason it's better for you to go here as opposed to link account is because when you go through this option, it assumes that you want to create a whole new account altogether. And sometimes I see home builders select this and then when it comes time to go through the process, they don't realize that that account has already been created. They create a new account in QuickBooks and then we have to merge it for you later on. So that's why it's best just to go to this pencil icon here and say edit sign in info. So as always, hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have questions.